Okay, so uh, for this video, um, number 13, for 100 videos in 100 days, I'm going to tell the story of my racist family. <laughs> um, my family is mostly predominantly Finnish, ethnically Finnish. I am a um, cracker-ass, mayonnaise, toilet seat complexion-looking individual, uh, but ethnically speaking, I am, for the most part, Finnish, more than anything else. And for the most part, uh, the majority of my family, who is Finnish, all immigrated from Finland to the northern peninsula of Michigan, and that's where they settled. So that's where my dad comes from, and that's where I would go back and I would visit quite often. And they all live in a very, very tiny little town. Uh, the very tiny little town has one, one business. <laughs> it's the post office and the grocery store, and the sheriff's office, and et cetera, et cetera, that kind of shit. So, um, but everybody's related there. Everybody's related. Everybody's Finnish. Everybody knows who everybody is. So, one day, my big Uncle Sven is going grocery shopping with some of the boys. And Uncle Sven isn't called Big Uncle Sven just because he's tall. He is about 6'4", but there is about three of me, of him in length, in width, rather, like he is a big, beastly, giant-looking motherfucker, and all the rest of the Finns, like the boys that are with him, they're they're no small potatoes either. These are big people, mountains. So they're in there trying to pick up some beer or some shit, and they see a black man, which is a pretty rare sight in this town. You might see a black person once every year, maybe. Um, so my big uncle Sven goes walking up to this African American gentleman and says, Hey dear, in this crazy Northern Peninsula, Manitoba ish sounding Fargo accent. Oh, hey, how you doing, dearie? Uh you uh you look a little new in town. The man, visibly spooked, as this giant mountain of a Finn is looking down on him. Uh yeah, just uh getting some groceries. Oh, getting some groceries, huh? That's all, okay, all right, yeah. Uh, what are you doing here in town, though? Oh, um, hmm. Trying to decide what he's supposed to say, which will probably net him the greatest chance of survival. Um, he decides ultimately just to go for the truth and says, well, I'm here to meet my fiance's family. Well, your fiance, huh? Uh, who's your fiance? So he states who it is. Immediately, my big uncle Sven claps him on the shoulder and goes, Well, hey, that's fantastic. I think that makes us like cousins twice removed or something. You're practically family already. You got to come to my house tomorrow. We'll get wasted drunk. We'll go crash some snowmobiles. It'll be a great time. Doesn't care what he looks like. He's marrying a Finn. He's practically a Finn. That's all they care about. If you marry him, you're a Finn. Doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, except there's one exception. And there's one reason why my family is incredibly racist. For that, I gotta detail out another quick story. This one's much shorter. One day, a million years ago, me and my dad are coming in for a visit. And we see down the road on the way into town a pasty shop. And if you've never had a pasty, you are missing out. It is basically a shepherd's pie in a hot pocket. Uh, if you have to kill a man to be able to eat a homemade pasty, uh, his life is worth taking for tasting that. They are incredible. So me and my dad get to uh, my aunt's house, and the whole family is there. And we're like, well, hey, uh, what's going on with that pasty shop just outside of town? Whole family goes, <laughs> it spits on the floor. Why the fuck did you just spit on the floor? Ah, uh, we don't go to that. Neither do you. What? Why? Did somebody get food poisoning? No. Worse. It's owned by a fucking filthy Swede. We already put a curse on her and hope she gets cancer soon and just dies and gets the fuck out of here. Holy shit. But that's the old world talking. 
In America, we have very clear lines of division. You look different from me. You worship a different magic sky leopard in the sky. You want to fuck somebody that I disapprove of you fucking. Like, uh, you know, the, these are these divisions that we have that are very easily definable. But when you go to the old world, it it's kind of blurs, it kind of blurs. That's like a historical fucking racism that that goes real deep in that racial memory. It's fucking crazy. It's really crazy. But yeah, that is that is my racist family. 